They say when you visit a place like Newfoundland, it's pretty easy to fall in love. There's plenty of love to be found on the granite rock. But when you come to Newfoundland and you stay a while, you'll fall in love with a feeling, a sense of peace and neighborliness, of nature's beauty and a deep, true calm. With a bit of excitement, of course. You just have to experience it for yourself. You spend time in Newfoundland, you fall in love. Maybe it's because we were an island for so long and so uh, disconnected from the rest of the world and so we, we all became families. I mean, we're basically, Newfoundland is just one big family. And then anybody who comes into it is welcome to the family. I mean, everybody gets adopted as well. You know, you come from uh, Ontario or from, from China, it makes no difference where you are. I mean, everybody is family. So you come on this island and the minute you arrive, you know you're part of the family. You're, you've been adopted from day one. It's, it's just the way it is. It's just instant adoption. adoption. And, uh, and I, I've, I've lived in a lot of places across the Canada and so on, and I've found some really wonderful and warm places. But coming back to Newfoundland, you know you've come back somewhere special because you are, it's open arms for everybody. If you take a drive when you come to the rock, you're sure to round a corner and discover something fantastic. Yeah, so I came out in 2013, bought the cottage that's just down the road, and the guy who was selling this brought, brought, said, come up and have a look at the place. I said, I'm happy to retire. This is more than I can handle. He said, you gotta come up and have a look at it. And it was in July, uh, mid-July uh, in 2013. And I, I couldn't leave. The doctor's house as a residence began more than half a century ago by a young Irish doctor and his wife. Dr. Charlie Boddy worked as a doctor of psychiatry at Her Majesty's Penitentiary in St. John's and built this country sanctuary very slowly over several decades. When Jerry, the owner, found it, it was still a work in progress, really. Oh, you can hear the wind blowing through the trees and the waves coming ashore and the birds in the background. It's like, and I said, oh my God. And so all of a sudden I went from retirement to cottages, an inn, a spa, fine dining, casual dining, and I, and I had no experience whatsoever in tourism. I'm an engineer in, from the oil and gas industry. I <laughs> said, so, my God, what have I done? <laughs> But it's been an amazing journey. Today, the Doctor's House Inn and Spa is a luxurious retreat tucked away between the ocean, sky, and beautiful trees and Greens Harbour, a mere hour's drive from Newfoundland's capital, St. John's. We have different themes. We have a, a Newfoundland artist who draws a lot of Newfoundland scenes, boats and coves and bays and old houses. And then we have someone else who does focus on flowers and another one who focuses on people. and and then we have some that match our spa and we have some that match the, the, the hallways. And so we try to theme everything out and you can walk through the property as if you're in a, in a, a wide open gallery. But am I lucky to be in a place like this? It is, I mean, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Much like the rest of Newfoundland, you can get lost here in the very best way. The town of Dildo has had its name going back as far as 1711. And yes, the name has been a source of curiosity for folks from around and across the globe. Once you come here though, you'll find yourself staying a while, for many reasons. You can't not have a community name of Dildo and not get razzed by it. Um, but I mean, you know, I think as a community, again, it's something that we, uh, we take pride in the fact that while we can take a joke, absolutely, we can take a joke, um, but we are very proud of the culture here. We're very proud that Dildo has kept its name, that it never did change. Um, we're not one bit embarrassed by where we're from. I don't ever care about anywhere in the world that I go and they ask me where I'm from. I'm, I'm never ashamed to say where I'm from, but I'm always eager to explain where I'm from. So um, again, we're, we're just, we're all very proud of the community. Uh, it's much more than just that silly little name that you, that draws people's attention to us for sure. So. Yeah, no, we get razzed, but we're, we handle it, I think, with, uh, with poise. We're, we're always very, I don't know, I mean, we can take a joke, but we don't, we don't take the joke too far. Steeped in culture, history, and natural beauty, this little town was built on fishing and whaling, and the ghosts of that are not hard to find. 
we always tell the story. I mean, it was the brainchild of my brother. He said, uh, what, what do you think about opening a microbrewery? And I was like, here? Like, we're going to open, you know, and he was like, just think about it. You know, he said, I've done a bit of research. He said, I, like, I think this would be an awesome idea. And so it just kind of, it grew from there. Yeah, it just grew from there. You know, we've done more than just uh, open a microbrewery that brought tourists. I think we've, you know, we've certainly brought some more energy back into the museum. Um, and of course, we redeveloped a building that was not in great condition. So it was, it was just great all around, right? It was a lot of great, uh, great things that came out of it. So, whether you're dreaming of new adventures or actually planning a future trip, keep Newfoundland in your heart. You know you're in ours. And, as they say on the rock, long may your big jib draw. Mm -hmm.